Hey there, do you want to set up consent mode version 2 with CookieBot? Well then this video is for you. I'll be taking you through the entire setup process step by step. Let's dive in. Hey and welcome to the channel, my name is Leon. This channel exists to help you use your web stats to grow your website without spending hours in the process. I want to thank everyone that has been liking my videos and has subscribed to the channel. I'm super grateful. That really helps me get these videos out to as many people as I can. As a way to say thank you, I have created a short cheat sheet on how you can grow the traffic to your website. So whether you have a new domain or an existing domain, if you want to grow your website traffic, just head over to the video description to grab that cheat sheet for free. Also, if you want to watch more videos, just head over to my profile. I've created tons of videos over the past year on how you can set up Google Analytics and how you can grow your website using that data. All right, we're talking about consent mode and consent mode version two. Consent mode is basically a way for Google Tag Manager to know and apply the consent settings of your user. So if a user goes to your website and accepts all cookies, consent mode makes sure that that consent is applied to all tags. So if you have, for instance, a meta ads pixel on your site that puts a marketing cookie on your user's computer, consent mode will make sure that meta ads pixel is only triggered after a user has given consent on your website. Well, that might still be a little bit vague for you. So let's dive into Google Tag Manager and I'll show you how you can set it up. And I think you'll be able to grasp what consent mode is as soon as you'll see me implement it on my own site. So we're inside of my Google Tag Manager container right here. I have set up CookieBot down here. It is this tag. By the way, I have a very particular naming convention with Google Tag Manager. I've made a separate video on this that I will link in the video description if you're interested. But here's my CookieBot tag. I will open it right here. As you can see, I have not used the all pages trigger, but I've used the consent initialization trigger. This is really important because it will make sure that the CookieBot tag is the first thing that loads when a site visitor opens up your page. And as you can see, I have not enabled Google consent mode yet. And this is probably the default setting if you have been using CookieBot for a while now, because it doesn't enable it by default, I believe. I have not set up consent mode yet, and this is what you get. This is the free version of CookieBot, so I'm not able to make adjustments. I will probably do that if I do this for a client, but as an example, this is fine. If I go into Tag Assistant and look at the messages here, I can go into consent and look at the consent settings for each message in the timeline and it says consent not configured and even if i say allow all cookies i do get some messages here in the data layer which is legacy code this is what we would use before consent mode was a thing but still under the consent settings it says consent not configured. So how do you use CookieBot to enable consent mode on your site? Well, let's look at that. All right, let's enable consent mode with CookieBot. Here down below, I'm gonna open up my CookieBot tag. And as you can see, the Google consent mode checkbox is not enabled by default. I'm gonna check it right here. I'm gonna keep this setting. So I want to redact ads data if ad storage is set to denied. I'm gonna enable, enable URL pass through. That is a clever trick that lets you keep some query parameters in your URL, even if somebody navigates away to a next page. And then under this setting, I'm gonna set a default consent state. So what is the consent that I want to set if somebody lands on your site but doesn't have set consent preferences yet? This is probably country specific. So if you have a website that is targeted to a specific country, you can just make one rule, leave this top thing blank here, and then it will apply globally and just set it to the preferences that you have in your country. But you could do also like a multi-site or multi-country setting where you have like one setting applied globally. So for instance, I'm gonna grant like every category because I'm also targeting countries where that is allowed. Or you could do, I'm gonna deny everything because I'm targeting a lot of countries where it is not allowed and then build from there. For me, my site is targeted at the Netherlands. So I'm just gonna keep that in mind. I'm gonna say preferences is granted. So functionality storage and personalization. Analytics storage is also granted for now at least. And all the marketing, so ad storage, ad user data and ad personalization is denied. So now I'm gonna say ad. If you would do like a multi-language setting here, you could add region and you need to use this country notation right here, where for instance, the Netherlands is NL and France is FR and the United States is US. So I will link this uh, section down below where you can look up the country code of your language. And by the way, again, use this trigger, consent, initialization, all pages. That is really important for this to work. 
Let's hit save and let's see what is happening. I'm going to hit preview. So here's the cookie banner. I removed my own cookie to see what's going on. So um, I'm going to go from the bottom to the top over my timeline to see what the consent settings are. So I'm opening up the consent tab and then here's the consent initialization message. And you'll see that cookie bot is loaded right here. So consent is not configured yet. It starts working right here. So if I'm going to move a little bit up. Yeah, here you have a consent message. And this is where the on-page defaults have been set. I have chosen my own Dutch region specific settings so analytic storage is granted by default functionality storage also security storage and personalization storage is granted but the rest like the marketing cookies have been uh, denied by default and that's what i want and then for the rest you also get a current state and uh, because i have not yet given consent the current state is also the same as the default but now let me just say allow all cookies. So you'll see that there is a new consent message right here. And after this consent message, I've allowed all cookies. And now it says granted. I want to make sure that it is really working. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the cookie bot cookie to get back my cookie banner. And I'm going to click deny all to see if that scenario is also working. So I'm going to remove the cookie by right clicking my page and then click inspect. And in the inspect window, you have this application tab. And under this application tab, you have under storage, you have a section called cookies. You click your own domain and then you look for consent. Yeah, there it is. This is the cookie bot cookie that I'm going to remove. So I'm going to close this and I'm going to refresh my page. And probably, yeah, there it is. I want the banner to reappear. Under tech assistant, I have refreshed my page. So the same thing applies. Consent initialization, consent. I get my... Default settings, again, all the marketing cookies are set to the night because my cookie was deleted. Now I'm going to say refuse all cookies. Let's see what's happening right now. So I have said refuse all cookies and now all cookies are denied. So this is also working. All cookies are denied. The only downside to this method is that analytics storage is also denied right now. So even though Google Analytics is still allowed, because I'm using this default consent mode, cookie bot functionality, it still allows people to deny analytics storage. But maybe that's a good thing. So this is how I confirm that everything is working properly. So the last step in implementing consent mode on your site is to go back into Google Tag Manager and to actually apply the consent to every single tag. And some tags will have some defaults because the Google tags, for instance, Google Analytics, Google Ads, those tags will have some defaults set up already because they are Google tags and um, they have consent already baked in. But you will have also some other tags where you need to apply the consent. You need to set like, is this a marketing tag or is this an analytics tag or is it just a general tag that can be put anywhere. So the first step that I like to do is I like to go into admin and then into container settings and I like to check this little box, enable consent overview. Let's hit save and let me show you what this uh, does. So under tags, you'll have this new little icon in the top right corner right here. And this is the consent overview. And if you click this, it will let you see on what tags you still need to do some work. So what are the tags in your container where the consent is not configured yet? Well, let's go over some of these tags and I'll show you how you can apply the consent to your own uh, trigger. So I'm gonna, for instance, open up this one. This is my own GA4 config tag. And um, if I'm opening this up, it will open up my whole tag setup, but I need to scroll down a little bit and then it will open up the advanced settings by default. And then under advanced settings, you have this consent settings. It says beta and here it says not set. And it also says you have some built in consent checks. So because this is a Google tag, it already has some content checks built in. So it checks for analytic storage for it to load. And it also checks for ad storage. And if ad storage or analytic storage is not present, it will use so-called pings. So it's going to downgrade the data collection. It's not going to track a lot of data. It's only going to count the user, but it's not going to track, for instance, what device they're on. The IP address will not be sent. It's going to apply the consent preferences of your user to this specific tag. What do we need to do here? Because we still need to do some work. We need to say, like, are there additional consent checks? And then you have two options. So by default, it's on not set, but that's what you don't want. You want to intentionally set what you want to happen. For this deck, I'm going to choose no additional consent required because there is already some consent checks built in, which is fine. I could do require additional consent for tag to fire, but in this case, that's not needed. So I'm going to hit save. And then this tag is uh, moved out of this queue and it's 
moved into this queue where it says consent configured. So this is the tag where the content is already configured. I need to do this for every tag. Well, let's go into plausible. I believe I do not need any consent for this because it doesn't track anything. It doesn't put any cookies on the user's computer. So I'm gonna say no additional consent required for this either. I'm gonna hit save. Matomo and Pivik Pro, those are basically the same. So I'm gonna select both. I'm going to say edit consent settings. So I'm gonna edit the consent settings for both tags. I'm gonna say require additional consent and I'm gonna say analytic storage because I want these tags only to load if analytic storage is present. Well, now we have a whole bunch of GA4 tags. So I'm gonna say select them all and I'm gonna say no additional consent required because consent settings are already baked in and those are fine. And then I have a cookie bot tag gonna do the same thing I'm gonna say no additional consent required and session duration this is a little piece of code that tracks the session duration I'm gonna make sure this is only placed on analytic storage because that's what I'm using it for on this side so now I have configured I have applied the consent settings to all my tags individually and this is how you implement consent mode on your Google Tag Manager container using CookieBot. all right that's it for today I hope it was clear. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. Also, if you want to watch more videos just like this, just head over to my profile. I have tons of videos on Google Analytics and Google Tech Manager over there. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.